With seven distinct models, the Cayenne offers consumers more powertrain choices than any other Porsche. V6, V8, turbo, hybrid, and new for this year, a diesel. And now I can say I've driven them all. This diesel model has been scampering around Europe since 2009, and now it's ready for its US debut. Volkswagen Audi Porsche is a leader in diesel technology, but while the other two brands have had TDI vehicles on our roads for years, this is Porsche's first. The impetus for adding a diesel engine is, of course, fuel economy. This Cayenne is rated at 19 MPG City, 29 Highway, a large spread enhanced by the use of an 8-speed Tiptronic S transmission. This improves upon the Cayenne Gas V6 by 6 MPG on the highway and 4 MPG combined, resulting in an average fuel savings of $500 per year. And with a 26-gallon tank, the Cayenne diesel will travel about 550 miles between refills, or up to 740 miles in pure highway driving. AdBlue is used to meet emission standards. Price-wise, it slots second in the vast Cayenne lineup with an MSRP of $56,725, a $3,150 premium over an automatic-equipped base Cayenne. And as is the case with all of the diesels I've tested, the EPA estimates play true in the real world. This jet green metallic Cayenne, riding on optional 20-inch RS Spider wheels, drew lots of attention this week, showcasing itself in a rarely seen color with just a small badge on each of the fenders, letting others know it's a diesel. I love the paint choice and the fact that Porsche delivered it with Dunlop SP Winter Sport 3D tires meant I could see what this Cayenne was all about in some fresh deep snow. With permanent all-wheel drive and the optional air springs offering five ride height settings and three manually selectable options ranging from comfort to sport, this is the first Cayenne I've had with the appropriate setup and tires for these types of conditions and I was impressed with its performance in deep snow and icy conditions. The Cayenne is a solid machine and feels as rugged as the VW Touareg. And when the roads are relatively dry, the Cayenne puts on a display of physics-defying handling and driving acumen befitting a sports car. I'm always amazed at the lack of body roll and how well the Cayenne masks its 4,800 pounds. Though it's the slowest Cayenne, the 3-liter turbo V6 and its prodigious 406 pound-feet of torque keeps acceleration strong, capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds, still sufficient for most SUV drivers. Horsepower is rated at 240, and while the towing capacity is a stellar 7,716 pounds, the diesel provides no additional ability over the gas V6. The interior on this Cayenne is swathed in a gorgeous combination of espresso and cognac leather and includes, prepare yourself, over $36,000 in options. This generation Cayenne uses its space well and provides an improved rear seat experience for passengers and cargo haulers alike. And the lighting is off the charts spectacular. It's bright enough at night to illuminate a small town. And as daunting as this center stack always appears, it's actually a quick and relatively intuitive learn. Other than the added cost to get all the goodies, it's a cabin without faults, highly functional and beautiful. So in case you haven't done the math yet, this example stickers for 93820 and doesn't include the snow tires, which sell for about $300 a piece. The diesel gives Cayenne shoppers yet another option to consider. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.